Hey everybody, it's me, Beast of Blast, and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. In the last episode, we caught up with Rouge and Blaze, and also Espio and Vector, to get their alibis and just have some fun with them. God, we had some fun with them. In this episode, I'm really excited. We get to go. We get to go. We get to go meet my boy. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! We get to meet my boy Shadow. Aw, oh, this is pretty. I love a good lounge. I like, I, Master Emerald or just a Chaos Emerald, of course. That's good for Shadow. Now it's good to clean out the pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking the, those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I, no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Bisto? It seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright. Let's find some answers. Indubitably, my dear Bisto. Bisto, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out or worse, something... Someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Alright, watch a pro. Ah! Oh! All this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. Oh, dude. That's my profile picture. Maybe even, like, everywhere. I like them. Uh, what is, what is our signs? Presenting Big Chow Band. Take a beat. Music plant. Hey, they're recognizing it fast. Oh, that makes me happy. Ooh. Hmm. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. it. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Huh. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. clear but I won't let it stop me. The fucking forces, asshole. Get him away. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. I want the other one. Have you ever printer worked the way you, you wanted it to? Fair enough. Shark! And there. Works like a charm. Here you go. Yes, exactly what I asked for. I'll set this on the back. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like you're gonna use the computer here. You must really need to use it. Yeah, what are they doing? Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. They don't miss! This chow will understand music. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. I'm big! <laughs> These windows are huge, what a view! I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. This game is so freaking cute. Um, you. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell to do something? Oh. No, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five. It doesn't even be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Ah, oh, sweet! Hmm. 
Hmm, nope, not listening to me. Quite parched, too. I can run and get a Chaos Cola for you. Nah, nah, I'll be alright. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please? No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. No, I'll get you away. Um, so I'm missing something. But what? Oh, I know exactly what I'm missing. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Beasto, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in this trash bin, Beasto? There's always something in the trash bin. Alright, let's check the trash bin. Oh, uh, what's this? <laughs> so it printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Can we uncrumple it? It is one of Amy's favorite bands. Er, well, uh, uh I hear sharing is caring. Alright. Get fucked. Come here. We've learned the train and we'll uh, confiscate any weapons brought on board, but you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. Birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants, and I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Birthday law, we should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules make sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. Come on. So what am I missing? I've printed out... Uh-huh. Because usually Tails lets you know when you're ready. I've done both of these, but we'll print up and sing another song. Um, can we leave? We still we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Um, my fault. Alright. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me. That stare. You know, maybe... We will get out of here, actually. Beasto, we certainly will not. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on a train, there's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. He took every muscle in his body to go agree with Tails. <laughs> there's nothing I can help either of you with. I say you leave me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get fucked. What do I need? It's like right in front of me. It has to be. I got in the band. I'm helping that. Amy doesn't say a freaking word. Hmm, Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Beasto. What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, let's see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. We're back in the... This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quiet. Back through the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Come here, boy. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have no appointment to attend to. Or you have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Important. Jeez. I'm not speaking today, I guess. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Pray tell. Why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's for a scoop found by yours truly. According to the map, the car, the next car in the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. 
This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for some reason, and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do! He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. So one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Why uh, Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock uh, the door to conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Beastu and I can explain the car change, however. Beastu, what evidence do you have that, uh, that shows Sonic could have, been, have gotten to the dining hall? I'm gonna go with, uh, what? Okay, just get my thoughts in order. This one gonna be hard! Oh, it's cool looking! Oh, it's uh, like wavelengths. Fuck, that's so cool! I need, again, I need a whole game of just this. Beastu and I found a hidden passage in that wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past uh, distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Beastu. Hmm, this is just my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then brought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off of the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Huh, seems Tail and I are more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. We should do any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Well, both. Both is correct. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio's reading the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like, I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? You must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would you? Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone has been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that! Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Bisto and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Bisto, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? That... Feels good. Now let me get my thoughts in order. So let's think harder. A little bit harder. Yeah, no, I need an endless runner with all that with all that hidden me. I need the boomerangs. I need the spikes. I need the whatever those um like energy blasts was. Maybe the chaos spheres. Maybe chaos spheres. I doubt it. This one's a lot easier than um last area. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, <laughs> interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong, Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Bisu and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Bisto? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support that. 
We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Beasto. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Is this going where I think this is going? What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Oh, how dare... Beasto, show me, show me the evidence. If Shadow was truly trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough. Whatever. What proof do you have? Okay, okay. Tail six. Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Amy didn't... Is it the piece of paper? That feels right. Please tell me Shadow wants to go see some hot honey. And if it's and if it's what I think it is, please tell me it's honey from uh, Sonic the Fighters. If it's if it, if it is honey from Sonic the Fighters, I'm gonna pop off so fucking hard. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a band tickets website. Tails, don't. <gasps> This is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is... Uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, isn't it cute? It's not Honey. I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car stat Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox! situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured out things so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of Hot Honey's band exists because... So I, I, I do really... I, 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 I realized it. I had I had the extra brain fart that no, he's being really nice and printing them out for Amy. But I, I, I the idea that he's a really big Hot Honey fan is even funnier, but fine. <gasps> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you to concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow? I used that printer earlier, and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyways. Ugh, probably our fault there. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert's tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you'd be able to buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I, I I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I've been locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work, and Amy managed to still make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door of ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I- your gesture's so sweet after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and make it up to you. You can come with me. I, I don't know if- too late, it's happening. I can't wait, the show of a lifetime! Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who's this? Uh, who's the source for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area: the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Peace and I hate, uh, hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Peace are coming together, the full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale, so let's pin down Sonic's murder for good. Right on, then let's do it. I did look at that, I, I forgot for a second. 
Get moving. Ready to go to the conductor car? It's now or never. Cool. It's cool looking. Have you noticed there's been a Genesis sound font this entire time and that it's actually kind of fucking slapped? Should really sort out any evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd, I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Ooh. Sitting all fancy up there. All right, I see you. Ben. You know, I'm right. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue in here before, huh? I know they always say check, always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time, after 32 years. He's told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Yeah, I wish that too. A microphone? We can talk to the whole train with this. Should I say something? Get on it. Get moving. Be still. Why are you reaching for the button? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Bisto. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. I'm sure they are tails. It's just being silly. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait. What's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, I get it. He loves his wife. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Oh, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear it off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before leading them aboard. Abroad. Aboard. Aboard. <laughs> let's, let's make note of this. Forgot for a second. Blow dart. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. No. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Do they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just that'll work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions, maybe I could drive the train. I would completely drive you to trust I would completely trust you to drive this train. Same actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Oh guys. Well, you two? Think you have enough evidence to me? It's high time we named the suspect. What do you think, Beasto? Ready to solve this case? Bah. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. I hope Sonic's limp body makes it too. Jesus, yeah, it's everyone. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Beasto. Why isn't Sonic showing up? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be technically dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself, the amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SPO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Aw, shit! I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride... Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime? Huh. Yeah, that'd be fun, too. Ah! 
What in the world? That that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? I mean, yeah, he's still he's still down. He's he's not responding to us. Sonic. What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down. Vector, make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Oh my god, she's pissed. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. So it really is 06. This is just 06, but from a better perspective. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Sure. I probably should click the monitors up there. Oopsies. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic. I really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong, I must take down the murderer. Tails Beast, I have one question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Ace Attorney style. I don't wanna. Like that's the issue. It's like I, I like I think it's blank character, but I love blank character so much that I can't I can't do it. I can't. I don't see it. Can you explain your reasoning? Ah, uh, well, um, when I'm putting the spot like this, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. So we actually. So okay, good. So it actually is someone. I think it's Nux. Oh! Espio! You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss! What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing! Restating Espio's alibi would be hell for, ever, for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Beasto, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings us a question to Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge car, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. And I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I use any secret passage. I answered all your questions about flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Bisto and I can explain that too, Bisto. How did Espio know everything the train manual he was reading? I mean, yeah. Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once bed read he once bed read a book or speed read a book. Uh I was reading, just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're talking on what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden! That's right. How would Espio even have known it was there? You said it for yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Visto and I might not have, this, have, the answer, to have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Visto? Who here has evidence to prove Espio know about, knew about the hidden passage? What? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. 
blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Bisa, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? I, I mean, honestly, I would assume that blueprints would be in the manual, but... Sure. There's a code included with these blueprints. I thought was odd. That code is classified information. Could, those, could these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way! In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. With the logistics still vague, but Bisu and I have evidence now on how Sonic was murdered. I ensure... Wait, I'm unsure how much harm SBO caused Sonic, but Bisto and I have evidence to on how it was done. Oh, this is Rich Pray Tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Let's do it. Big ol' think. The biggest think. Ooh. Oh, um, fingerprints. That's actually oh my god. Okay, this is doing it all but now. Oh! oh! Ah, uh, it's okay, let me try again. That's a new gimmick. Scared the crap out of me. Alright! I didn't look too far ahead, that's my fault. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic un 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 uh, unconscious. <laughs> ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder of mystery. My theory, therefore plausible. Plausibly say, then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point, but Tails was on something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Bisto and I are uh, Bisto and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we uh, need to take a closer look at? Alright. Uh this is gonna be this is gonna be cut it really close. Like super cool. Reset. Uh, just let me do it again. Yeah, big oof. BIG OOF! Oh, I got it. Take, just takes a second. Give me that bulb. Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get the dining car, then what route did he take to get the Sonic? There's, there's a path above the conductor's car, and it goes all the way to the dining car? Huh, I didn't see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight up to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there? In the vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path. Of course it all goes with a vent. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here. And a track! A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This would be the path uh, the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Ah, oh, the, the robotic arm is correct. Break dancing on him. Moonwalking. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there was a track the robot arms used to continue to the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? 
I can see that those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's losing from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit there are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SPO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SPO, who received that information. Oh shit, sorry. No, yeah, I yeah, I know it was a hot scoop. I, I, I it was that sh it was the information about Shadow, but yes. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where the hot scoop came from. Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Ugh. No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, as I said, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking for out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SPO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in a room with a hidden passage? Ugh! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car, and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow, if for no other reason than to cast doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakness. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only be one person. Oh, that's fucking sick. It was you, SBO. You are the cringe-ass Nene baby of legends. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, there he is. Hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and we had just solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer. Right. Oh, we get his alibi. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it. You got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleeping for a while. Great. I can use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Here we go! Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? N no we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of this train. Also, now that we're at the end, I need to mention I have Sonic's exact hat. Uh, I need to flash photos of me and Sonic with the exact same hat. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a Flicky. A, a Flicky, the tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a Flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed, but he refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. He was the blowdart from SBO. SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Ooh, spooky. Oh, even spookier. Hey, stop, what are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail, it was so, it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was do that uh, while poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah, the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. The situation's gotten so serious, why not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. 
Use the Splodar and Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. What is that? It says, okay, yeah, I got it. What is this, instructions? I was given the bloat art along with that card. It's signed staff, who would give this to you? Come to think of it? One of those robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What's the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Bisto, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the bloat art? I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First feeling the train's bad, Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering with our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and show yourself. Amy, it's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Ooh, maybe he's hitting the wall for hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get this train's attention. What was that? Uh oh. Monitor's on. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Hmm. Hmm. I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing our little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you... Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. One of these buttons turns the train off. Whoa. Sonic. Ha ha ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah, whoa, we're going again. I can't keep my footing. Pfft. It's kind of lame. Ooh, this is cool looking. Ooh. Oh, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Oh, my head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining hall. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me? I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. It's still going. <laughs> it really is a murder mystery. Jeez, it is still going. Well, this has been part three. I didn't think there was going to be anything further. I thought we were going to end it there when Sonic woke up. But, jeez, we are not done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you much for just following along this little fun mystery. I mean, it's a murder mystery. We're having fun. I'm having so much fun with this game. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourselves a good rest of your day.